أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستكفر ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وهل الأخضة من لساني يفقه قولي My daily respected brothers and sisters in Islam and all my viewers out there I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings which assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh with the peace, the blessings and mercies of Almighty Allah, Almighty God be upon all of you. So inshallah today I want to talk of a very essential topic which is dying in the best state. You see, so many of us, we do make this dua, may Allah make us die in the best state, in the best position, in the best... But, I'm going to lay out some points that, inshallah, if we follow them properly, we will meet this requirement, inshallah. But the first thing you should know is, no one can attain Jannah except by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I repeat. No one can attain Jannah except by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have laid out six points that inshallah if you follow these six points properly and religiously, then inshallah we will be among the successful ones and we will make Jannah by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first is we should stay away from all major and minor sin as much as possible we should stay away from all major and minor sins as much as possible especially the major sins because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive the major sins but he can forgive any other sin if he wills as allah clearly stated in surah nisa quran number four verse number verse number 48 and also in surah nisa quran number four verse 116 he said, Inna Allah la yagfiru an yushrika bihi wa yagfiru ma duna dhalika lima yasha. Allah uh, does not forgive anybody who associates partners with him wa yagfiru ma duna dhalika lima yasha. But he can forgive any other sin if he wills. So we should try as much as possible, stay from all sins. Then if you mistakenly commit any sin after that, you should hasten to repentance you shouldn't waste time in repenting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَالسَّارِعُ إِلَى مَغْفِرَةِ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ and those who hasten to the forgiveness from their Lord and Allah also gave us fursa he said in Surah Al-An'am Quran number 6 verse 160 he said مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشَرُ أَمْسَالِهَا And whoever comes with a good deed, he gets tenfold of it. وَمَنْ جَاءَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ فَلَا يُجْزَ إِلَّا مِثْلَهَا And whoever comes with an evil deed or wrongdoing, he does not get anything except of what he has done. And with this, even with these, with the sins we still commit, once you repent, Allah will forgive you. So immediately you commit a sin, you should try as much as possible, repent immediately. Try to abstain from sin. If you commit that sin, try to repent immediately. So the third is, you should never be in a bad company. You should never surround yourself with bad company. People that will not lead you or will not influence you positively. Or people that will not make you go to Jannah. Our noble Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin fahuwa minhu. Whoever associate themselves with certain, with certain people, he's certainly amongst them. So we should also always make our surrounding good by making our friends and our associates good people that will always remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And the fourth is we should always be in a good place, in a good surrounding. You know, if some people with friends say, you know, let's quickly go to the club. And after, because you can't resist, you just say, okay, when I come back, I will repent. Subhanallah. What if death meets you in that place, in the club where you died? Or you are in a place where you are not allowed to practice your religion? It is on you to leave that place, except you don't have the means. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Nisa, Quran chapter 4, verse number 97. He's talking of those people whom the angel will take their life in the state that Allah is not pleased with them. And they will give the excuse that they were not allowed to practice their religion. And Allah said, Wa'arudullahi wasi'ah. The earth of Allah is vast. And it's your duty if you are in a place that you can't practice your religion for you to migrate to a place where you can easily practice your religion. The whole earth is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He has created the earth for us to worship Him. The fifth is you should never have the intention of sinning then plan to repent after you finish sinning. As I said earlier, sin, either you sin mistakenly and you should try to abstain from all kind of sin. But with the intention that I want to sin and I will repent later, what if at the process of that sinning, death meets you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاكِيكُمْ that this death in which you run away from, it will surely get to you. So this brings us to the sixth, which is, you should always be prepared for death. You should always be prepared for death. If you are alive today, you shouldn't be expect to be alive tomorrow, because the death will always meet you. As I quoted earlier, as Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ For verily this death in which you flee away from, this death in which you run away from, فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ It will surely meet you, to surely get to you. You can't run away from it. When it is certain that yes, the death will come, then you should be prepared for it. You should always act as if you will die before tomorrow. You should act as if you will die before the next minute. So you should always be sincere in your dealings. And we should live happily with the people around us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut Every single soul, every single soul on earth will have a taste of death. So we should always be prepared for it. Since we are certain that this death will come, we should be prepared for it. Your mask so gently, and as I finally stood there.